Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's the 22nd of November, 2022. We're gonna talk about this guy right here, Bob Iger. This man, apparently from the market, reaction is telling that Disney is a buy. Is that true? Let's look at the price tags. We're gonna look at the price chart to see if that's actually true from what the price actually revealed once this news came out. I mean, look at all the market coverage. Bob Iger returns to Disney as CEO. Now, as this information came out, you guys can see he's only a couple of hours old maybe a day old look at the reaction from the market though once that news broke that bob Iger is coming back on board to disney the market closed up six and a quarter percent one man is that really the reason why disney stock rose six percent let's talk about it now look at this before i get started i did a price prediction in the market at disney right here on august the first looking for the price to go up it did just that 12.44 Congratulations to those who saw that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to look at what's been going on prior to this coverage of him coming on board at Disney, right? Now, we can see this from a weekly chart. Let me extend this out a little bit further. That the market at Disney has already created a spot, right? That buyers were coming into the market. So let's already see where we were at prior to this news coming out. Market buyers were already here at around 90. They've been propping up this price in Disney ever since 2015. This is where the buyers are currently located. So even if this news didn't come out about Bob Iger coming back on board to Disney, we've already created a foundation or support to where buyers have staked where they're willing to buy Disney. That is important. I will say that's even more important than the information coming out that he's coming back on Disney. Now this could be an opportunity for the market to sell the news. Yes, I understand that the market and the reaction was euphoric and price going up 6% in Disney stock, but it could only go up, right? To sell it. So it's gonna be real crucial to see the price action in Disney going forward off of this news. Now, do you don't think the price chart, the market is not already anticipating what's gonna happen? now since he's on board in disney let's look at this on a two-week chart so now earnings came out prior two weeks now my concern is okay it's not a surprise that the market in disney let me show you something hit a high of a hundred dollars and 89 cents yesterday that's not a surprise you know why? Because this market has already determined that that was resistance. Let me show it to you. Because I don't want everyone to come in and act surprised as to why Disney is not going higher. Okay. This is the objective. This is the hurdle that the market will confirm to us that the market is bullish in Disney. I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Now. This is it right here. $100. We need to see the market in Disney break $100 to the upside before we even consider the market being a buy. Don't be led astray by the information that you see on mainstream media, social media. Don't be surprised. Don't be led astray by the price action that you see. That is why it's so vitally important for you to be already in position to capitalize off of this move. So when you see this on the two wiki chart, right? Right here, look at this two wiki price bar right here. The only thing that is keeping this market propped in Disney is that $90 price level. That's it. Not Bob Iger. He's not the one that's confirming that Disney is a buy right now. Look at this on the three weeks. This is where the buyers are at. Right here, $90. I like that. I like the fact that buyers are maintaining Disney stock here, here at 90. Monthly chart. So that is what we're getting. It's not because Bob Iger is now back on board. No, it's because the market has already been accumulating, been buying Disney stock ever since the month of June 2022. The price in Disney has neglected to fall below that level. And as long as that maintains, then I'm looking for price in Disney to trade within this consolidation of trading area. OK, 
Okay. So what do you think though? Let me see this on the three months chart. Okay, so looking at this on three months chart, I like I said, it's going to be a great war between the buyers and the sellers in Disney. This is going to be fantastic to see how this plays out because the last six months, okay, this three month price bar and the last one, completed one, all signifies weakness. So everything is being hinged on $90. $90. Can you believe that? Nothing else matters besides this whole point to where buyers are staging their protest. It's $90. Now, looking at this from three months out, they have a major task ahead of them to keep that price up. And will they continue to buy Disney at this level? Because the moment that they leave, prices inevitably is going to fall below $90. Are you prepared for that? Because that's why I'm here. I'm here to give us a forecast to surveil the landscape before it actually happens. This is it on the six months chart. We got a month and nine days left before this current six month price bar concludes. Now, from the long term perspective, i.e. from my term, I define long term as a monthly basis, three months, six months out. That doesn't look bullish right now. It doesn't. When I combine the last two six months, that doesn't look bullish. Okay. So I think momentarily, price is going to maintain this level around $90. The buyers are going to continue to try to hold the price, but the longer in time we go, the less likely that Disney is going to continue to trend higher. Okay. Now, on the smaller time frame, though, outside of price getting rejected around 100, there is some contention between the buyers. Now, when I see this type of mixture going on between the buyers and the sellers in the market at any particular time, I don't play. I want to see which side of the market is winning. And as of right now, I can tell that buyers are trying to hold price with this increase in volume the last 10 trading days and seeing how price in Disney is closing higher than the previous five days. I get it. The buyers are trying to hold price, but are they going to be successful? That's the question that we need to try to answer. And they're trying to harp on any type of information, any type of news to substantiate why people need to come in and buy it. I'm not going to fall for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, step aside and let them spend their money to figure out which way the price is going to go because inevitably the market is going to give us answers on to which way the price is going to break now don't forget a hundred dollars is the resistance area for the buyers and ninety dollars is the resistance area for the sellers okay now which one of those lines breaks would tell us the easiest way for price to move it's an ongoing battle right now so why do we need to come in and try to bog down our mentality and figure out okay what's next for disney what's going to be the next catalyst that's going to move the price well i already know where the battle lines are drawn i just need to see which side is going to break first so i'm not going to put on a price prediction i want to show you all how you need to be moving in stocks you have everything money out here trying to sell you their software and it cannot prepare you for what's to come. You simply input some assumptions as to what you want to put a price level at a price at and then come up with a price. It just draws a price for you because you just simply created your environment. That is not how you are to trade or invest in stocks. Anybody can create and paint a picture as to where they think a value of a stock is going to be. Don't fall for it. The market is the ultimate decider as to where price is trying to go. Not no software. This, what you're looking at right now is how you can tell what market is going to do. And at times it becomes great, become mixed. And you just simply wait when that happens. So I want to chill out. 
Now, if you guys don't have two, what do you think is going to happen at Disney? From the long term perspective, I'm definitely looking for price to go down. From this smaller daily time frame, I can see buyers holding the stock at Disney up around 90, but I know resistance is at 100. And then the next one's going to be around 104. So do you really think Bob Iger and the information and the coverage of him coming back to Disney is going to keep the price from falling? I don't think it will. Let's see. Hit the like button, sit up, and also subscribe here to the channel and tell me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.